What's going on guys, your boy Boxing Facts or Fiction. I need you guys to do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification and the icon for more videos like this. Deontay Wilder and Dominic Brazil press conference. Pretty much that's what it was. We thought it was a press conference for Deontay Wilder to tell us why he's rejecting the zone offer $120 million. But Deontay Wilder still has some unanswered questions to answer. But it seems like Deontay Wilder doesn't want to give us a clear answer. So we can't force the man to give us answers. But with that being said, Deontay Wilder at this press conference, he talks about the situation that happened. Um, he has a fight coming up with Dominic Brazil, who is his mandatory. He talks about a situation, why these two are, why they, why they are beefing. He says, uh, the beef started with his brother, um, Dominic Brazil. Dominic Brazil threatened Dominic Brazil, who is a former uh, opponent of Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua knocked out Dominic Brazil in like the seventh round. And now Deontay Wilder is fighting him. We'll see how good Deontay Wilder does against him if he can knock him out sooner. That'd be impressive. But uh, Deontay Wilder says the situation happened with his brother, Dominic Brazil, threatened to kill his brother. He said, Dominic Brazil threatened to kill his brother. And he also said his brother dropped Dominic Brazil. He said, man, my brother's only 190 90 pounds and he knocked you out. Dominic Brazil said his brother, he didn't deny getting dropped by uh, Deontay Wilder's brother. He said, yeah, that happened, but he sucker punched me. So now the story doesn't really add up. First, Dominic Brazil said it was 20 people. He said 20 people jumped him. It was a mob of 20 people. They jumped him. But now he's saying it was just Deontay Wilder, brother, who sucker punched him and dropped him. You know, so it seems like Dominic Brazil is the one changing his stories. And Deontay Wilder is uh, the one keeping the straight story in this situation. But that's crazy. Deontay Wilder's brother is only 190 pounds. And uh, he dropped Dominic Brazil, who is 6'7", just like Deontay Wilder. They're the same height. So that's impressive. But uh, Deontay Wilder's brother is only 6'3". He's 29 years old. Um, he has four wins, three, three of those wins by knockout. And, and he lost already. His, his first loss was by a knockout, so he got knocked out. Marcelo's Wilder, he turned pro in 2018. He fought a guy named Jalen Anthony. He fought Ryan Williams. He fought David Damore. Then he fought William Dietz, a guy who only has six wins and 12 losses. And William Dietz knocked him out. TKO. But uh, Deontay Wilder, brother, has less experience than Deontay Wilder. Both the Wilder brothers doesn't have a strong amateur career, so we need to take that into account before we um we uh throw judgment on these guys. These guys are doing a lot of things they're not supposed to be doing. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, they can't box." Well, they're learning on the job. They haven't had a long amateur career like a lot of the top heavyweights. Well, Anthony Joshua didn't have too a long amateur career as well so these guys are just freak athlete freak of nature but anyway be that as it may Deontay Wilder said his brother dropped uh, Dominic Brazil Dominic Brazil didn't deny it he said he got snuck and he said uh, Deontay Wilder he also said Deontay Wilder uh, had a mob while he was with his wife kids and family I mean the stories is all over the place but anyway, be that as it may, uh, Deontay Wilder and Dominic Brazil, the fight is official. The buildup is, is looking pretty good. I'm liking this beef, guys. I'm liking this beef. Deontay Wilder saying all the right stuff. Dominic Brazil saying all the right stuff. Deontay Wilder said he doesn't want this fight to be a pay-per-view fight. In the eyes of the fans, we know it's not a pay-per-view fight, so he doesn't have to say that. Deontay Wilder says he's a people's champ. Um, 
He's going to knock out Brazil in devastating fashion. He said he's never felt this way like he did. The only time he felt this way was against Bermain Stavern. And we all seen how that ended. It ended in a vicious KO, if you guys can remember. Um, it was like... It was a devastating knockout, and it was a first-round knockout. If Deontay Wilder is able to do that to Brazil, if Deontay Wilder is able to knock out Brazil in one round like he did uh, Bermain Stavern, that will be very impressive. Deontay Wilder said, uh, <laughs> Dominic Brazil is like a fly ticking in his air. <laughs> he said, Dominic Brazil is a nobody. He said, "Who the?" he almost sounded like Conor McGregor. Who the fuck is this guy? He didn't say that, but that's what he was insinuating, saying nobody knows Dominic Brazil. He said, um, I want to give the fans the best fights, but Dominic Brazil is the next guy up, and he's a mandatory. You know, I have to uh, take care of these mandatories. Pretty much saying he has to take out the trash. Um, a lot of words were exchanged, man. I felt like Deontay Wilder got the better of the exchange in words. Um... It wasn't like Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury killed Deontay Wilder, in my opinion. We all know nobody can talk trash like uh, Tyson Fury does. None of the heavyweights can keep up with that guy. When the guy starts talking, you just can't stop laughing. He goes on and on. He'll say some stuff you won't even, you won't even expect this guy to say. And he doesn't stop. He just keeps going. But anyway... I'm looking forward to this fight, guys. Believe it or not, I'm looking forward to uh, Deontay Wilder versus Dominic Brazil. I'm impressed with Deontay Wilder's brother. Deontay Wilder's brother, um, even though he had a knock, he got knocked out. I'm still impressed with him. I feel like if they keep feeding him easy touches, he's going to become a problem at the uh, cruiserweight division. He's only 29 years old. He, he's going to become a problem. They keep feeding him some uh, journeyman and not somebody that's going to knock him out again. I feel like Deontay Wilder brother um, needs to um, needs to work on his defense. He lacks the same thing his brother lacks, and that's defense. Um, Deontay Wilder never had the best defense in the world. But his offense makes up for that because he has so much good offense. He doesn't really have to uh, use defense. When I say good offense, means he's going to knock you out. When I say good offense, I mean he's going to knock you out. I'm not saying he's he's sharp. He's the best boxer in the world. But I'm saying he's going to put on a show. Um, and that's what we pay our money for, to see knockouts. We don't pay our money to uh, see guys go the distance. We pay our money to see the knockouts. But guys, this whole situation with Deontay Wilder, his brother, Dominic Brazil, his family, um, I, we haven't really got the full story because there's two sides to a story, probably three sides to a story. But um, Deont even though I believe Deontay Wilder is uh, telling us the, uh, the best side, his side makes more sense, but... I'm not just going to go ahead and agree with all of that, you know. Both guys are somewhat lying, not giving us the full scoop. But uh, it makes for an interesting night of boxing. Um, you guys already know who I'm going to pick to win that fight. But it all depends on the style he wins the fight. Like I said, will it be a first round knockout like he said he did to Bermain Stavern? Will it be a first round knockout like what he did to Bermain Stavern? What he said he was going to do to Bermain Stavern? He said if he didn't defeat Bermain Stavern, he was going to retire. He was so pumped for that fight that he knocked out Bermain Stavern in the first round. Well, we see that deadly Deontay Wilder. I remember after that knockout of Bermain Stavern, everybody said, this is why the, uh, Anthony Joshua is ducking this man. Everybody said the same thing. Everybody, probably not Anthony Joshua fanboys, but everybody said the same thing. They said, this is why uh, Anthony Joshua hasn't gotten into the ring with Deontay Wilder. I mean, it was such an impressive display of punching power. 
we probably never seen before. I mean, it it was ridiculous. Such an impressive, such an impressive display of boxing power. Deontay Wilder completely destroyed Bermain Stavern in the first round. It was unbelievable, guys. It was unfreaking believable. Believe it or not, it was unfreaking believable. I mean, will this happen to uh, Dominic Brazil? It's a possibility it could. There's a possibility this could happen in Dominic Brazil. Um, if that's the case, then Deontay Wilder will raise his profile even higher. I just know I want to see a good fight. I don't want to see a 12-round war. Um, Deontay Wilder said this guy is a fly in his ear. He's going to get this guy out of there. He said this guy is like a freaking uh, Nintendo game or something like that. He's going to press all these buttons. It, w- it was funny what he was But anyway, do you guys really believe that Deontay Wilder brother really knocked, almost knocked out uh, Dominic Brazil, dropped him? Brazil didn't deny it, so I guess it really happened. But do you guys uh, believe that Deontay Wilder had a whole entourage? And what do you think about this fight? Do you think Deontay Wilder will knock this guy out in impressive fashion? I'm hoping for it. But yeah, guys, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit that.